And here's the Vion edit on Afghanistan. It is a simple battle of, for power, a battle between the Taliban and the U.S., and violence is just a tool to gain the upper hand. In fact, the increased killings may be taken as a hint that the U.S. and Taliban are close to a peace agreement. The next steps could be these. Enforcement of a ceasefire, withdrawal of U.S. troops, and a new government, most likely a Taliban government in Afghanistan. And most of this should happen before September, when the national election is scheduled to be held. Why do I say this? Because I'm looking at the developments, the recent ones. First, the two-day meeting in Doha on the 7th and 8th of July. Then the four-country conference in China. Something clearly is afoot. The four countries talking right now are the U.S., Russia, China, and Pakistan. Let me repeat. The U.S., Russia, China, and Pakistan. These are the countries that are deciding the future of Afghanistan. The Afghan government isn't. An interesting situation. The Doha meet was the seventh round of talks. It was the first time when the Taliban was present along with an official representative of the Afghan government. The first time in these seven rounds. There were about 60 participants in this meeting. Until now, the Afghan government and the Taliban refused to be at the same talking table. The Taliban did not recognize the government, but now that challenge has been overcome in Doha. And this has helped the peace process wherever it stands right now. America is working on a four-point agenda. They want a ceasefire. They want an intra-Afghan dialogue, a procedure for withdrawal, and democracy and respect for human rights from Doha to Beijing. At least that's what they've stated. The move indicates a softening of the Taliban's hitherto tough line. They're coming around. They're giving some concessions. The outcome of the Doha and China meetings show that India which has been kept out of this core group of four countries, is going to be relegated to a lesser role. And that is ironical because New Delhi has invested $3 billion in Afghanistan. That is how things stands right, uh, stand right now, and that is why the violence is going up over the past few days.